Hey guys, Aaron Burton, Trolling Motor Product Manager. Today we're gonna to go over two calibrations that need to be done after you install your recon trolling motor. You can perform the bow offset and compass calibrations on the trailer or in the water. When doing your bow offset calibration, it's important that you have a clear line of sight to the lower unit position. So if you're in a little dirtier water, we recommend choking the motor up as you can see we've done here. When you're performing the compass calibration on the water, it's important to keep the boat as still as possible. One way you can do this is it either power pole down if you have them, or you can tie up the boat to a dock, just making sure you have a free line of sight. One thing to note, if you are using a dock to keep the boat stable, keep the head of the trolling motor away from any metal railings as that'll interfere with the calibration. The first one we're gonna go over today is the bow offset calibration. These calibrations can be done from your remote, the foot pedal, or from your Lowrance or Simrad app. And from the remote, you're first gonna just hit your menu key, go down to settings, trolling motor, and then you'll find the calibration option. Within that, you'll see bow offset and compass. You'll select bow offset, and it's gonna ask you to move the joystick left or right. And what we're gonna do here is get the lower unit centered the best we can with the keel of the boat. Now this is very important. Once you get the lower unit in line with the keel of the boat, you're gonna press down on the joystick to select set. And once you hear that tone, you know it's complete. When doing your calibrations, we recommend doing the bow offset first and then proceeding to the compass calibration. After you do your bow offset calibration, now you wanna to move to the compass. And to do that, you're gonna select your menu key again, go to settings, trolling motor, calibrations, and then we're gonna select compass calibration. After you ensure that your lower unit can move freely, then you're gonna press the joystick to select next. And when you're ready, press it again to select start. Once you select start on the remote, the lower unit's gonna to begin to rotate on its own in a 360 degree motion. Once the calibration's complete, you'll get a confirmation tone. So now we're gonna show you how to do the bow offset and compass calibration from, from your advanced wireless foot pedal. To begin, we're gonna press and hold the back two keys until you hear a tone. As soon as you hear the tone, then we're gonna align the lower unit with the keel of the boat. As soon as you get the lower unit in line with the keel of the boat, you're gonna press the anchor key. After you select the anchor key, that sets your bow offset and you'll hear a confirmation tone. After you do your bow offset, now we'll complete the compass calibration from the pedal. To begin this, you're gonna hold the back two keys until you hear a tone. After you hear the tone, you're gonna press the bottom right or number three key. Once the motor rotates 360 degrees, you'll hear a tone that gives you confirmation that it was successful. 